Hey guys, I uh, hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, Tip Tuesday, we've been talking about uh, positive attitude uh, and, and how that affects our perception and now how that perception affects our progress. You know, we, we, ha- we have a lens that we see everything through, whether it's a good attitude or a bad attitude, it changes the way we perceive events that are going on. And so you can have two people see the same thing, but depending on the lens they're looking through, they could see two different events. Uh, and so, you know, it's important that if we're moving forward, if we're progressing in our riding or our roping or whatever it is, or horsemanship, in order to really progress well, we need to see past runs, past events through a positive lens. So uh, there's two ways to look at a past ride or a past run. Number one is, man, I just really screwed this up. It's not working. Uh, You know, I I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know how to get better. Uh, You know, it it was the horse's fault. It was the judge's fault. It was the arena's fault. It was the weather's fault. It was somebody's fault. We're always placing the blame on somebody else. Or we can say, hey, you know, it didn't go well, but there are a couple things here I can really focus on that I did well and a couple things that I didn't do as well that I need to work on this week in practice. And by taking that second approach and finding the things that we need to do well, man, we're really going to be taking that next step in progressing. But all of that, our progress really stems all the way back to the attitude that we have as we're going through these different rodeos or as we're going through life, whatever it is that you're, you're dealing with, the attitude behind it is going to affect your progress. And so I think there are two ways. Hey, maybe, you know, I wake up. It happens to me, man. I wake up and, man, I'm just not in a good mood. I'm short with my wife or whatever. What are some ways that we can change our attitude? Number one is I think be thankful. You know, there's a, an old gospel song about counting your blessings. And it's amazing when you sit down and you start to list out all the things that you have in your life, all the blessings that you have in the life, all, all the things that, that you should be grateful for that other people don't have the opportunity man it's amazing how much better you feel number two i think it's important to compliment somebody else you know it's amazing what happens when you say hey you did really good today makes them feel good about themselves makes you feel good and helps change that attitude so be thankful compliment somebody else have a great week